Get up here right now. I'm not asking. You know, sometimes you just get beat. Yeah, you did! And over the past couple of months, I've been working a lot of wrestling shows, as you can probably imagine. All over the place. I love Florida because it's hot. But I've been working in Ohio, and Illinois, and New York, and Arizona, and Washington, and going to Texas. And let me tell you what I see. I see a lot of wrestlers in the back worried, real worried, about what that little contingency online has to say about them, right? Those couple of fans on Twitter, right? They said, what if they don't like it on Twitter? What if they don't like my show on Twitter? What if they don't like my moves on Twitter? What if the people on Twitter don't like me? But what I've also seen, when I stop listening to the people in the back, when I stop listening to all these big time promoters with TV deals and contracts, when I start listening to what the people actually show up to see, we actually have a pretty good time. Did you guys have a pretty good time? With all these big indie dream matches, all these big stars from around the world, we're supposed to sit there with our hands under our asses. We're supposed to politely clap, and we're supposed to judge things on a five-star scale. We're drinking beer out of the sun and watching some dumbasses beat the hell out of each other. It's a lot more fun than worrying about this stuff. Troy, I've seen you kill it everywhere you go. You just killed me. You just stomped Teddy's face all the way. Teddy was out for nine months with a messed up knee, got surgery, could have stayed home, could have had a normal life. He's still out here doing this because it's awesome. Troy, they put you out with all the names. They put you out with all the ACW high flyers. You kill it every night whether they're noticing or not. And you still do this because it's a good ass time. I know I heard somebody say you fucking lost. Sit the fuck down. I don't care. As long as you guys had an okay time, I think we did our job. Troy? Troy? Now you gotta defend that thing. And I can't wait to see what you got up your sleeve. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go. But first, nobody deserves this more than Troy Hollywood. He is the fucking man. I love Troy. Give him up. This means a lot to me because uh, yesterday I was at a show. Uh, I had to put a friend to rest, and uh, it was uh, it was tough the entire time. I haven't wrestled out there after the match. I cried like a baby, and I feel like crying now because what you guys just did. I hope you know when you're out here supporting wrestling, and even that that chain you just gave me, that shit means a lot. I want to thank uh, this place, this man on the Mills place. I want to thank all of you guys for coming out here and drinking and having fun and cheering on everybody because once again, that shit means a lot. And just before I get out of here, I want to say something because we're in 2019 and everybody's mind seems a little messed up. So I don't want to be political. I just want to say this from the heart. I don't care if you're white, 
I don't care if you're Mexican. I don't care if you're black. I don't care if you're Neanderthal. I don't care if you're a dog. I don't care if you're a woman. I don't care if you're a man. I don't care if you identify yourself as a I don't give a shit what you are. Everybody that comes in here, everybody that drinks, everybody that cheers are now officially drunks. All of you are drunks and we're gonna keep being drunk.